Hi, in this video, prepare to be blessed by this video production by the ministry of Apostle Joshua Selman. Let your heart be opened, prepare to receive prophetic blessings ahead of Hebrew, and God bless you. Look, let me tell you, when God decides to place his grace upon your life, your life becomes an unending wonder. I want to pray from the depth of my heart. This is my assignment. I'm not preaching. Mine is for you to receive. If you like, you can look around and be doubting. If you like, you can open your heart sincerely and receive and allow God to change your life. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus Christ, may the mantle, the unction, the anointing that distinguishes you and compels men to come and bless you. I release that grace upon you now. Welcome to Start Now Channel. We are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in God's presence. The Bible says in Psalm 119 verses 130, The entrance of thy word is that light. As you listen and watch, may you experience the transformative power of God's light. Listen, the grace upon your head is for illumination and understanding. The grace upon your hand is for productivity and the grace upon your feet is for direction and speed now you understand what i'm releasing in the name of jesus upon your head let this grace rest upon you upon your hands may this grace rest upon you upon your feet let this grace rest upon you koinonia i declare one more time upon your head may this grace rest upon you extraordinary illumination by the spirit upon your hands may this grace rest upon you and upon your feet receive speed and direction in the name of Jesus Christ it says and I will give you a wisdom and a mouthpiece that your adversary will not be able to gain say nor resist I place something upon you that from today as you speak in the name of Jesus those who have what it takes to bless you may they hear you as you speak those who have what it takes to help you may they hear you Kalish ah. Paru Kaduski e Paru da Shalatos Kadi Embra Gadoja la Cosa Bragadi Hallelujah In Acts chapter 27 and verse 22 They were with Paul going to a place called Crete And there was a storm And the Bible says as a result of that storm They lost their properties The ship was about to capsize and they were about to lose their lives and paul stood up and said and now i exhort you be of good cheer for there shall be no loss this just came into my spirit now i want to speak to someone from the way things look right now it looks like you have lost money it looks like you have lost your place you have lost the job but i stand under this apostolic and prophetic mandate and i declare there shall be no loss koinonia global there shall be no loss not of your life not of your properties not of strategic relationships there shall be no loss there shall be no loss in the name of Jesus I will always make reference to John 5 the man who was crippled for 38 years he was there lying down when Jesus came to him and said do you desire to be healed he said I have no man that was his problem you may have talent but do you have a man to help you you may have your gift but do you have a man every business needs a man every ministry needs a man there are people who are anointed but those to declare them to the nations they have not encountered them 
I love it every time I declare to call men because let me tell you men are very relevant when it has to do with your rising and your shining are we together no matter how graced and gifted you are even if you are Jesus alone without a man will only leave you in pain and tragedy therefore I decree and declare the strategic men some of you have a lot of men in your life but none of them is strategic enough for your destiny quality strategic men I bring them to your life now quality strategic men I bring them to your life now quality strategic helpers financiers announcers I bring them to your life now hallelujah say after me in the name of Jesus louder in the name of Jesus I contend for greater capacity and higher levels of spiritual power as I submit myself to fervent effectual prayer open your mouth and begin to pray Lord as I submit myself to prayer let there be an enlargement in my spirit someone pray an enlargement an enlargement an enlargement increase in capacity the Bible says the fervent effectual prayer of the righteous man availed much are you praying I contend for greater capacity, higher levels of power, higher levels of unction, higher levels of grace. Grace can be multiplied, peace can be multiplied, men can expand from within their spirit. capacity in the spirit capacity in the spirit for in Jesus mighty name we pray for in Jesus mighty name we pray when you place a cup on a table like this and you decide to pour one drum of water into that cup you are going to waste every other thing that you have poured in minus the size of the cup am I right on that yes the moment the cup gets filled every other thing you are pouring will be a waste hallelujah yes so if you want to receive the more and like you'll be learning there are many things that cannot be captured in your life except and unless on the strength of your capacity. God cannot trust you with certain instructions. God cannot trust you with certain dimensions. God cannot even trust you with men until this wonderful structure that we're in right now, if the architects would tell you the size of the foundation the foundation was so constructed to be able to receive this size am i right on that now there are times that architects have made mistakes for whatever reason and they did not pay attention to the foundation and they kept adding structures on a foundation that was not supposed to host that kind of building and as a result you will find out that regardless what they did as far as the quality of the construction is concerned it will eventually collapse God trust me with higher levels of wealth, higher levels of grace. That cannot happen except and unless you build capacity. We are going to pray one more time. This prayer holds the key to many people's desire. It's not like God does not want to reach down to you, but your capacity is very small and has remained so. As a man of God, you're trusting God to expand your ministry. God loves you, but he loves those you want him to send you to you. And because your capacity is small, you will not be able to do much. Are we together? One more time, cry. Greater capacity. Enlarged capacity in the spirit.
Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Hela shaka paraku sada balaka sigete bet. For in Jesus name we pray. In Jesus name we pray. We're going to pray the second prayer point. In Acts chapter 13 and verse 2, Acts 13 verse 2, the Bible says, As they ministered to the Lord and fasted, the Holy Ghost said, Separate me, Barnabas and Paul, for the work I have called them into. If they did not submit themselves to prayer and fasting, they would not even know that there was an assignment for them. Hallelujah. We are praying that God would download the prophetic blueprint for the next season of your life. Are we together? Listen to me. Delay is related to confusion. The moment there is clarity, there is speed. Are we together? If you are driving somewhere and you are not sure where to turn to, the first thing you do is reduce your speed so that you do not pass the place. I say it again, delay is related to confusion. You're going to pray, Lord, the prophetic blueprint for my life in this season, I receive it by the Spirit. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. The prophetic blueprint for the next level of my life the prophetic blueprint. Shake parus kate prende ke beleke tosh. Kraka taparako segete belekosia. The prophetic blueprint for the next level of your ministry, the next level of your impact. Yesterday's instruction may not suffice for today. Your ears must be inclined to hear what he's saying today. Beba shabarako safras kadebe legete kotas rabakata parandos kadebe lekos yata. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. First Corinthians chapter two from verse nine and ten. But as it is written, I had not seen nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man. The things which God has prepared for them that love him. Verse 10. But God had revealed them unto us by his spirit. Is that in your Bible? It says, for the spirit searched all things. How many things does he search? All things. He does not search some. He has the exclusive ability to search the mind of the father. Even the deep things of God. The deep things of God. You are going to pray. Holy Spirit, bring to my life the detail for the next level of my life. Bring to my life the details. What do I need to do? Where do I need to go to? Who do I need to meet for the next level of my destiny to be open? Go ahead and pray. Confusion recycles pain. Action in ignorance will only multiply your pain and waste your energy. The Bible says to walk circumspectly as wise and not as unwise. It said, call unto me and I will answer. I will show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Is someone praying? The prophetic blueprint for the next level of my life. For the next level of my life. The prophetic blueprint for the next level of my business. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And he says, now the earth was void and formless and the spirit of God hovered around the face of the, the face of the, the face of the, verse 2. 
and God said let there be you see light there and there was light verse 4 now and he saw that the light was good and he divided the light from darkness verse 5 and the light he called day the darkness he called night the evening and the morning were the first day verse 6 and God said let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters this is God creating now and let it divide the waters from the waters verse 7 God made the firmament and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament. Verse 8, it says, And God called the firmament above heaven. The firmament in the earth, you know, that one he called seas and the rest. Verse 9, we'll find somewhere to pray. He said, Let the waters under the heaven be gathered together in one place. He's still talking water and dry land. Say earth. Say earth. Are you seeing these elements now and the dry land appear and it was so verse 10 it says and god called the dry land earth and the gathering together of the waters he called sea and god saw that it was good when you read 11 you can read on and on and god said the earth that has now formed now bring forth vegetation the grass the herb yielding seed the fruit tree yielding fruit after it and you can keep on like that like that like that you keep seeing all of these manifestations every time the supernatural comes it comes through these five conduits they are mysterious elements they do not belong to the earth they were outsourced into the earth that's why none none of these five things experience death light does not die because it is not mortal hmm. listen carefully listen carefully listen carefully sound does not die is that true the earth does not die fire does not die water does not die all five of these elements death has no power over them if they were earthbound and they were mortal there would be a way of bringing them to an end you can't bring light to an end you can't bring sound to an end no you can only stop it from walking within a room demon spirits know this back again to our herbalist people as we round up every time you go to a herbalist this is the same combination you see earth water light then words are spoken the words is still sound it's just that unfortunately this is is a satanic thing that is done to to you are, are we getting the point now it is not an invention of the herbalist it is a manipulation of the laws of god now today as believers it is not necessary to speak to sound to speak to water look at me it is not necessary to speak to light i'm not teaching you to do that all of the powers that were invested in those elements have today been transferred and put in a name listen carefully now are we together so the bible says wherefore god had so highly exalted him and given him a name that is above all names it says that at the name of jesus now you will know what every knee must bow the knee is not the knee of men the knee is the knee of things it's in your bible of things in heaven of things in the earth of things under the earth and then it says every tongue should confess that jesus is lord that means the power that is in the name of jesus watch this the power that god put in water the power he put in fire the power he put in light all of these powers have now they reside within the office of the Christ when God gives you the name he's giving you dominion over water over fire over elemental forces are you getting what I'm teaching you now so you do not need to go and fetch water or fetch fire or fetch all of these things now I know there is a place of prophetic action communion and water whatever it is I am not saying it's intrinsically wrong but I'm saying as the believer today understand when you see people use water and all of that it is not that what they are doing is not correct 
it is that there is a superior approach that is given to the believer now are we together that all of that has been invested in the name of jesus so i do not need to go and consult with water and say water you have abundance give it to me that abundance is in the name of jesus what i would have done before to now sit down and say water bring me abundance fire bring me abundance light bring me abundance i can say in the name of jesus i speak to my destiny open up the power in the earth that makes it to yield will make my destiny yield because it's now been invested in the name of jesus are you getting that now it's important to understand this so that you will now understand what the Bible means by saying the sun shall not smite you by day. How does the sun smite you? Who uses light to smite you? Evil spirits. But because you have the name of Jesus, you can speak and say in the name of Jesus, no weapon fashioned against me, whether by light, whether by water, anybody who takes your name to a herbalist, you don't also need to go and carry water or fire. Now, I'm not pleased with all due respect to the body of Christ. Every man of God is at liberty to practice whatever revelation he has. I'm not by this. Let me put a disclaimer. I'm not insulting or downplaying or demeaning. No, 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 no. I'm teaching you the truth as superior revelations from the word of God. Are we together? I have acknowledged that these are elements that were created by God and that there is a dimension of God's power resident within them and that they are conduits for manifesting the supernatural. But the advantage that the believer has in Christ today is this name we have been given. Now you will respect what was put in the name of Jesus. So here's what he says. Silver and gold I do not have. In other words, I can't tell you go and wash in Siloam. I can't tell you go and do this, but such as I have, give i unto you in the name of jesus the name that has that power i will not need to say wait in bethesda until the stirring of the water when the angel came in john 5 he stirred the water and whoever entered the water was healed jesus himself put sand in someone's eyes i don't need to go and start putting sand in people's eyes today to be healed are we together all i need to do is to speak over your job speak over your life provided it is in the name of jesus i release that power so when i am walking my laws learning all the laws that bring prosperity when i bring the name of jesus to those laws i empower them to produce on their own there is a dimension of god's power but now added to it i have said in the name of jesus whether you pray on the food you are eating or not it already carries health within it but now i give thanks because there is a devil there is an enemy who can also manipulate these spiritual laws listen to me believers the greatest investment you have for your victory is that name the power was invested in the name jesus went through all of these things and today we do not need to consult mediums or consult elements to get power the most superior approach for the believer is to understand the power that is in the name of jesus when i get up in the morning and i see the sun shine I know that it's empowering plants and animals and all of that. But listen to me. Even if I remain in darkness for one year, I still will not die because there is a name. Are we together? The effect of what that son would have done, that name can do to me. Are we together now? Yes. I do not need to go and bath seven times, respectfully speaking, like Naaman, except if it comes as a prophetic instruction from God. But classically, as I'm speaking to you, that the believer's advantage today is in the name. Healing in the name. Prosperity in the name. Lifting in the name. Speed in the name. Even the communion that you take is in the name. The communion itself does not have any power. It is the name that is invested in it that empowers it. Otherwise, you are just taking maybe a, a drink and all of that. The anointing oil that you hold, it came from a plant connected to the earth, connected to water, connected to light. The anointing oil on its own does not bring you any miracle except the name is invested on it. Is someone learning? So if I forget an anointing oil at home 
and say, ah, I don't have an anointing oil. Don't worry. Did you forget the name? That is the trouble. Many have carried the oil and forgotten the name. Mary carried water and forgot the name. Are we together now? Now, I'm saying this to help the body of Christ. We're in the school of power. Listen, when it has to do with power, thank God for water, thank God for light, thank God for all of these things. But the name of Jesus Christ has been exalted above everything and it's been given to the believer as an inheritance when you have that name with it you will command strange possibilities and watch this that name is able to manipulate even elemental forces to walk towards the favor of God's people in other words I can stand and speak over an atmosphere where there's drought and say rain in the name of Jesus, I declare you begin to fall on this land. That rain will obey me. Why? Because I'm coming in the name of Jesus. Jesus is not a creation. He's not a creature. He is the creator himself. Is somebody understanding what I taught you tonight? God has all power. Now he's given Joshua Selman that power. I will not go and stand in front of a river, respectfully speaking, to consult and say, what will my destiny look like? Now, I'm not insulting you. If that is the pathway you choose, that is fine. But there is a more superior way that in the name of Jesus, I can say by the power of the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost was given to me to lead me and guide me to understand the ways of God. And I can walk in it and walk with exactitude and precision. Are we together now? Yes. I can say in the name of Jesus, help us to find out the cure for this and that. And God himself, watch this, can lead you to those elements. Now, please hear me. I need to balance this as we wrap up. I am not teaching that engaging any of these elements in itself is sin. The inventions that we get in our hospital is God leading men back to the trees to combine formulas that treat malaria, that treat all of this. Are we together now? Yes. There are times I've prayed for people on water, there are times I've prayed for people on their oil. There are times that people come by faith. They just hold a bag of sand and say, Apostle, pray on this sand. There's no time explaining anything to them. Their faith has been connected to it. I just lay my hands and say, in Jesus' name, go in peace. Because when they come and as they keep learning the ways of God, they will now see that there is a more superior approach. By this teaching, you should not go down and start insulting people and say, see what you are doing. You are still using oil and water and that. No, no, don't do that. Don't do that. I will still use oil on you. I will still use whatever it is that God leads. But I am telling you that the power is not in the oil. Now, today, my confidence is not anointing oil. My confidence is not water. My confidence is not communion set. As wonderful as that is. Are we together now? Yes. My confidence is in the name of Jesus. If I lay my hands on that oil and you use it and it produces results, it is not because of the oil itself. It is because of the name of Jesus. Anybody who does not know Jesus will have to depend on those elements on their own and then sadly for many in partnership with demon spirits. Now, witchcraft operates in this manner. These spirits understand how to manipulate these formulas and they come and meet men. They said there is a cure for something in the village. Bow to me and I will show you the cure. So someone will come and bow to the devil and you say combine this leaf and combine that leaf. And the person will start doing it and start providing solution. And you'll be called the herbalist in the city and you'll make money from it. Like the lady with the spirit of divination. He brought money to their people. You would have called that prosperity. But when someone came in the name of Jesus... He said in the name of Jesus and he seized control of that and an end came to that. Anybody who uses the sun, anybody who uses fire, anybody who uses water against you is only wasting their time. That only works if you do not understand the power in the name. Are you getting what I'm teaching you now? With the name that you have, you do not fear manipulations of water, 
manipulations of this so there can be water spirits there can be demon spirits there can be all kinds of spirits in the air there can be manipulations with fire but my confidence is that I'm coming in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ no matter what is conjured against me that no enchantments against Jacob I don't need to also go and start pouring water and drink no no I've become an Ahabalist that will even become an embarrassment to the authority of that name how many people have the name here when you come into Christ among the many things that you are given is that name access to that name but it works by revelation it works by revelation watch this if a herbalist stands now and pours water in front of your compound and is shouting some some someone and pours water and throws it away you should not get afraid and say hey he even held water no remember what i've taught you they are playing with all these five elements but you have the name of jesus you have authority over that thing now you know what happened that benson either i think he was or one of these people when they slaughtered an animal and kept it in front of him they went and cooked it and, and ate it or so if you use any of these elements some of you go to your offices and you see blood pepper salt all kinds of demonic things and you panic and run away no remember these are elements and they are only as powerful as your ignorance allows them now the name of jesus that he's given you listen with one command with authority now if you don't know what i have taught you and you are just shouting in jesus name you will waste your time and that charm will work let me tell you the truth many people have not got this revelation and they've just carried bold face for nothing and they died like chickens the strength of the name of jesus is not in pronouncing it like a chant it's in the understanding this is what gives us confidence hallelujah i have held many charms with my hands many usually when people want to when people are repenting or confessing they carry all these charms that they got from several places and i say bring it to me because they don't know what to do with it and they've warned them if you keep it in your house it will be the negative version of the act of of god in the house of obed edom and so i say bring it i know what to do with it tear that nonsense into pieces and throw it away i will not do that just by bold face it will kill you listen i'm saying this to you because i want you to walk out of this place knowing that i have power as you obey the laws of the kingdom expect it to work for you the laws of prosperity the law of honor all of these laws but in addition know that i have the name of jesus and whatever spirit wants to manipulate my life and destiny i can stand in the name of jesus and speak that everybody who has used water against me anybody who has used the sun against me anybody who has used the earth to make pronouncement i stand in the name of jesus and i declare that it, the effect is nullified that is the prayer we are going to pray for one minute can we pray that prayer for one minute rise up everybody say in the name of jesus Shout it, say in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that every manipulation from the air, from fire, from water, from the earth against my life and my destiny in the name of Jesus, let it be nullified now. Open your mouth and pray in one minute. I come by a superior manifestation of power power over the earth power over elemental forces power over water power over trees power over the Sun someone pray they only work to my advantage and not to my destruction they only work to my advantage and not to my destruction. They only work to my advantage and not to my destruction. Hallelujah. Listen, please look at me. Give me a minute and we're done. Hear me. So the Bible says if they drink any deadly thing, is that in your Bible? 
that someone puts poison in water and say let him take it and die there is a covenant you have that you can even it's not about just avoiding to drink it whether you drink it that there is something the name does are we together yes the same way water separates itself from death and it can live you will be surprised that you are it means water should not kill anybody there are diseases called airborne waterborne you see it ought not to be so because that air and water was created for the advantage of the believer but manipulated by demons i should not drink water and die i should not eat food and die they were not for my destruction they were manipulated by the devil no wonder the prophet said there is death in the pot today right now the devil has manipulated all kinds of foods and now you almost don't know what to eat again because it looks like there is death in everything fear not walk within the advice of medical doctors but can i tell you shout the name of jesus on that plate and eat well and go to bed are we together yes i can go somewhere and get the water i don't know who produced it i don't know his covenant with the devil but from the time it entered my house loyalty changed the bag of rice that comes to my house I don't know who said it in fact if somebody prepares some I'm saying this because there is so much fear in believers who prepared this who put this ah, I'm about to die you are going to live a frustrated Christian life that way it is the evil you know that you fight what of the one you do not know there are many believers who cannot do is out of fear somebody innocently can give you a wristwatch and say uh-huh you see he gave me a wristwatch this is a programming for delay please please and you may be right but what is the advantage of your presence what is the advantage of the name there are many restaurants that we may go and eat in you don't know what the people believed you can't sit in fear all the days of your life apostle what if somebody wants to kill me it's not what if there is somebody on earth that wants to kill you for sure i can tell you that for free your immunity is in the name your immunity this is a summary of my message we're in the school of power your immunity is in the name that for as long as you stand in that name no divination and no enchantment and you can speak to elemental forces and i assure you by god that they will obey you give jesus a big hand clap we believe you are blessed by the message you just watched let us know what stood out to you in the comment section. You can also support our channel by liking and sharing our videos. So more people like you will be able to watch these powerful messages. We celebrate you and see you in our next video. Thank you.